What's going on guys? Today I figured I'd do, I'd break up my collection tour um, into like babies and adults and then like other stuff. So I'm going to start with the young guys, the uh, kids today. Um, let's jump into it. This tape's here on the table so I, I remember my mark. This is a little Dalmatian kid uh, that was hatched last year. I'm trying to make sure all this stuff stays in focus, but it won't. So that 50. Can you like sit still for 30 seconds? Little Dalmatian guy. Um, this is not a close-up lens, so you're not really gonna get the detail I can try so this kid's gonna end up with a lot of uh, a lot of spots mom's a super Dal. dad's uh, dad was like a red Dalmatian and this one was actually uh, bred by tip of Texas geckos um, I bought the dam when she was grabbing and already been paired, so I got this guy. And that was the only kid I actually got. After that, she started laying duds. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about that one. He's got some pretty serious, like, uh, ink blots that are just gonna get better. Bigger. one is one of two babies that I hatched last year. And I would name the pairing, but since nobody remembers what everybody's adult geckos are, it kind of defeats the point. Unless you saw an actual picture of them. Mm -hmm. We've got shed stuff on our toe. So this is Osiris. This was the baby that hatched during Hurricane Matthew. Um, mom's a red flame, dad's just, uh, he's a gray adult, that one's Schaefer, uh, you'll see him in the adult video, he's, he's kind of bizarre, but I'm pretty excited about this one, it's pretty interesting, um, not really sure which way it's gonna go, color-wise, um, might stay dark, might go red, I don't know. <clears throat> This is Die. This is the sibling to Osiris. Same parents. Um, this one's also interesting. The back pattern is pretty weird. It's almost like has like a greenish sort of tint to it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh oh. We fell. So excited about that kid. Looks pretty cool. This one actually has some spots on him too, and that's bizarre because neither of the parents uh, are have like any Dalmatian traits that I can that I can tell, unless they've got some in like inconspicuous places, places I haven't dared to look yet, which is possible. Come on. So this is Liga. Liga was produced from uh, by Amber at Night Owl Exotics. Um, pretty sweet. I consider him a tricolor. Uh, he gets really nice and dark. 
Uh, he's supposed to be a male. Looks like he's kind of turning out that way with the bulge there. Um, really excited to breed him soon. He's getting up to weight. He might be there by the middle of the season, so I might be able to pair him up by then, but we'll see. Uh, if you haven't checked out Amber, she does some really awesome stuff. Uh, like I said, her business page name on Facebook is uh, Night Owl Exotics. She's out of Columbia State in South Carolina. Okay, now you can let go of me. I'm planning to do kind of more in-depth videos of everybody at some point. This is one of the gargs. One of four gargs I have. This is Fyriel. Uh, I'm a huge Deftones fan. That was one of their songs off their uh, first album, Adrenaline. We're going. I got a tattoo and everything. <clears throat> I'm really liking these gargs, actually, too. Uh, this one's the biggest of the four. Growing Like Crazy was produced by the Motley Gecko up in Charleston, which is about an hour and a half or so up the road from me. Um, traded some non-breeder adults that I hadn't didn't have plans for for these guys, so I got a pretty sweet deal on them. And they're all turning out really nice, especially uh, that one. I don't know the sex on it yet. this is going to work out. So far it's not. This is Mars. This one was also produced by Amber at Night Owl Exotics. Still not sure on the sex yet. Um, we're just now hitting the size where if we're male we're going to start showing. So it might be a little while before we actually see. I love this one. It's so pretty. The parents are both like super creamy uh like it doesn't doesn't really look like one in particular it looks like the perfect combination of both uh i'll have to post a picture of them at some point on the on the instagrams but really pretty kind of reverse pinning a little bit uh hoping we get lighter as we go but wouldn't be surprised if we kind of stayed where we were at but a little bit of a spaz no big deal. They grow out of it if you give them the time. <clears throat> Doesn't really fire up and down either. That one pretty much stays like that. Which is interesting. <clears throat> this is Osak. Osok is a little baby I got uh, locally from a, a teacher here in, in town in Beaufort who was breeding some. It's just a little tiger brindle kid. Really interesting pattern and color. Uh, just saw it and I said, you know, why not? It was cheap enough. It was like 60 bucks for this little guy. So I said, sure. So hoping to see how it turns out. Might be parting with it if it turns out to not be what I... Uh, what I'm hoping it'll be, but you never know. It's kind of the cool thing about Cresteds is, you know, you can get them and then let them grow out and they could end up either being something really awesome or they could just kind of not change a whole lot and not be what you're hoping for. But it's neat that you can buy them and kind of hold on to them. This is the second garg, my red retic, which looks just like mom, which is pretty sweet because mom was an insane adult. Focus, there we go. 
This one's been putting on a lot of weight lately too. Pretty excited about uh, it. No idea on the sex yet. I haven't really tried sex in the gargs much. Um, they're pretty pretty tough. Cause especially if they're darker like that, then all their scales are darker too. <clears throat> so trying to find pores in that is not easy. That guard was Casper. This is a Steli. The third guard, the little one. This guy almost always stays dark. Kind of patternless ish. You've got some patterning, not a whole lot. More some, some like dashing with some orange and yellows. Meow, and we jump. Jumper. I'm sorry, y'all got to kind of sit between the, the the getting of the new ones out. Um, I don't have a computer that allows me to edit. I have a Chromebook, so I'm pretty limited. Otherwise, I would cut this down, and make it much more digestible. Fourth garg really nice stripe this is uh silvera that's right tell you what using this 50 millimeter it's nice but having such a limited focus is really getting to be a pain so really nice stripe these all four of these gargs came from the motley gecko uh, and I just love this one. <clears throat> He's going to be awesome as an adult. <clears throat> and at some point I'll do a video that kind of just tours the whole, uh, whole, whole room. Half of it at least. It's my room that I use, so. We'll do something more in depth at some point, but, um, I'll be doing part two on the adults here soon. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Palmetto Coast Exotics. At Palmetto Coast Exotics on Instagram. Palmetto Geckos on Facebook. Uh, check it out and give me a follow.